afternoon. Thank you all for coming here today. I am Chad Bianco. I'm the sheriff of Riverside County. And we are obviously here uh, to talk about an incident that occurred yesterday at the rally that uh, former President Trump had in Coachella. Uh, there has been a lot of media stir beginning last night with social media and uh, further on today about the arrest. And so I am here to give you as much information as I can. I will answer all of the questions that you have. Uh, keep in mind that the information that I'm going to give you may not be all of the information that I have, but because of what we're doing and because of the uh, the investigation that will obviously continue concerning this, there are some things that I that I cannot give you or that I uh, that I will not give you, but I will do everything I can to answer your questions. Uh, so to begin with, uh, yesterday afternoon, before former President Trump arrived to the rally, uh, we made contact with an it to an individual on the inner perimeter of. Uh, our operation at the rally. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, this was a, a very large event. Uh, in regard to previous attempts on the former president's life, this was not something that we were taking lightly. We had a very uh, detailed plan in place on how we were going to keep not only the former president safe, but all of the uh, participants or the attendees of the rally safe. So uh, in general terms, I will tell you that we had a, a, a larger outside perimeter and then an inside perimeter that was completely controlled by us, by Riverside County Sheriff's deputies, and uh, both of them served different purposes. Uh, we did not keep residents from their homes. We did not keep people that were traveling through the area from going through if they had a legitimate reason to go through. So the outside perimeter was basically to allow people in that we thought belonged there. The inside perimeter was to make sure and to make sure people were proceeding in the right direction. The way it worked yesterday is only people that were allowed with v inside the perimeter, the outside perimeter in a vehicle was if you lived there or if you had documentation that said you were going to this rally in the form of, uh, of an email with VIP credentials or press credentials. Uh, those vehicles were allowed in, there were no other vehicles allowed. So that outside perimeter are, the, uh, I will give you his name. The, the name that we have, and I'm going to put an asterisk by it as I explain this later, but we have his name as Vem, V-E-M, Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R, and his birth date is 10 of 1974. And the reason why I gave it to you like that is I will explain later. He approached the outside perimeter, gave all indications that he belonged there, that he, was, uh, that, he had, that he was a participant that was allowed to get into VIP and, to, uh, and, and a press corps, and so he was allowed through that outer perimeter. As he got to the inside perimeter where deputies were conducting obviously a more thorough uh, evaluation of the vehicles that were coming in, there were many irregularities that popped up. The deputy noticed that the interior of the vehicle was in quite disarray, the vehicle had a, uh, an obviously fake license plate, and that prompted further investigation from our deputy into why the, person was where, why the person was there and what he was doing. During that investigation, uh, the deputy eventually found multiple passports with multiple names, multiple driver's license with different names. The vehicle was unregistered and the license plate was what we in law enforcement would recognize as one that is homemade and indicative of a group of individuals that claim to be sovereign citizens and uh, we and assuming the deputy assumes that he would that he was part of of that identifying group. So during the investigation, he, obviously those identification documents were found in addition to a loaded handgun and a shotgun. Uh, obviously, this was before the former president arrived. Uh, the person was taken into custody. Uh, he was eventually booked into jail on those charges, and eventually uh, he was he was released. Uh, he will he will have to 
further his court case uh, is in the in the future. Uh, right now, we are actively uh, engaged in working with Secret Service and the FBI to ensure that this person is followed up on and all of the information that they can gather. I can tell you that from from my perspective, from from a state law enforcement agency's perspective, the the firearms charges is what we arrested him for and booked him on. Uh, anything further will come from the federal government and quite frankly, I don't know if we will be a part of that. We will certainly be a part of that investigation and cooperating with them, but those charges, if any, will come from them. They will not come from us.